Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Thursday, January 30th, 2013. And as a side note, this will be my last one from our last one uh, for this week. Next week, Monday morning, if all goes well, I'll be broadcasting from sunny Florida. All right, uh, yesterday we had the biggie here, which is the uh, Fed announcement. And in that announcement, they are going to chop another $10 billion off of their purchase program. And you all probably know the market did not like that at all. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, for today, we have GDP at 8.30 and jobless claims at 8.30, which is that smoke and mirrors announcement. And then at 10 o'clock is pending home sales. All right, let's take a look at what's going on across the pond. Oh, Google is going to sell Motorola to Lenovo. Hmm, Lenovo's on a buying spree, aren't they? Oh, anyway, here, uh, Asia, red across the board. Well, that's pretty surprising. And in Europe, uh, mixed mixed but I would say majority is red all right I wanted to uh, and I'm not going to show you that okay all right let's move on here let's take a look at what's going on in the US we're uh, up slightly here in the pre-market on the futures Oil is uh, back down around that 254 mark. It was up to, well, it was up to 1260 uh, something yesterday. And, or I mean gold, not oil, <laughs> gold. Sorry about that. And I'm so concerned about oil because of gas prices, right? But oil is down to 97.88, and one of the announcements yesterday had to do with the petroleum status report, and it has to do with inventories. And inventories are pretty high right now, which is probably why gas is relatively cheap. Okay, let's take a look now. Let's just take a let's peek at the VIX. I want to see the chart of the VIX. I haven't looked at one recently. Uh, it's still relatively elevated here in its price um, I suppose what I would do here is I would take a look at a weekly and this is not unusual so we're hoping that uh, as option traders we're hoping that the VIX actually goes up however using the um, credit spread system for the most part it doesn't really matter um, it's still at that 50 delta you're pretty much doing a 50 50 trade and it's almost always worth the same amount and I'll prove it someday I'll make a video on it but in reality um, it doesn't really matter it doesn't matter how far to expiration and it doesn't matter what the IV is, you still should be able to, at a 50 delta on a $5 spread, you should still should be able to get a $2.50 credit and a $2.50 risk if you're trading the right underlines. All right, let's take a look at in play. Yesterday I got out of Amazon. This is what happened intraday on Amazon over here. Uh, let's go back to the daily here. So it took a, we'll check the prices on those, but took a small loss on Amazon. And I also got out of Google and took a small loss on it. But now, you know, if I take a look, Google this morning and or last night in the uh, aftermarket actually came back above my short strike, which was at 11.15. And if I followed my rules, I would still be in it because I'm still green on the stochastic and I just barely went red on the MACD. 
So if I was following my rules, I would still be in Google, and it may work out uh, just fine today. But on the other hand, if I followed my rules in Amazon, I would still be in, because we have a very similar picture here on Amazon. And in the aftermarket, it tried to come back, and it just couldn't. So it looks like this morning it's already down. And uh, while I'm thinking about it, I also fixed my memory problem here. The memory low, I haven't seen it since I did the fix. I sent an email to Thinkorswim and they came back with this answer. Basically, what you do is on your login screen, you click on this configure button down here and you go over here and these I change my memory settings to this so it's uh, taking up a lot of memory right now which is fine with me because it's most important for me to have that um, that uh, response from it because it was just taking too long for things to happen I also use in case you're wondering also use the black background and small fonts I do not, don't ever uh, mess with these unless they tell you to. And this proxy is if you're behind like a corporate firewall. All right. Uh, let's take a look at these trades. Here's Amazon. Uh, collected a buck twenty-five, and I got out at a buck thirty-five. So I lost ten cents on that. And on Google, buck twenty-five, uh, buck thirty-eight. So I lost thirteen cents on it. So not too bad. But also yesterday, I got into uh, IWM. Here we go. with a calendar. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> Let's look here. Yeah, I was just doing a one day thing here. Uh, let's see here. Let's do seven days and the trade should show up. Oh, IWM, not WM. There we go, there we go. So I uh, bought five calendars and paid 68 cents for each one. And we'll take a look at a chart. And here they are, March. They're March calendars, March expiration for the short. And April for the long. And I bought them at 105. And the reason why I did 105 was this. We had support here and resistance here. So I thought, well, maybe we'll come down and retest that between now and March. So I have plenty of time for that to do its thing. And this is what it looks like on a risk profile. And it was locked in here at 68. So right now our peak is right around $1,000. Uh, if we can get down to there somewhere around March 1st that would be perfect but it's not very expensive um, I don't think for uh, insurance here so if we get some increase in IV it'll be a good thing alright so let's jump over and do our A plus list right now you don't mind I'm not going to do any trades today but um, if you guys want to you can go ahead and do so uh, right so let's go back to a day are we at a day now yes we're at a day okay so here's Apple still did not have a very good day yesterday and continues today to have a rough time of it. Amazon uh, if 
you guys got in, uh, would hang in there because if Google works out, then you'll be flat. But you never know what might happen with Amazon. Um, guessing on a direction for Amazon, mm, I'm not going to. I don't have any feeling about it. I think Google's going to do fine, though. So if you want to, if you want to do a directional earnings play on either Amazon or Google, I would do a bull direction or an up direction. I think they're going to have good earnings. Boeing. Well, even though they beat, uh, they must have said something that people don't like for some reason. I don't know what went on there, but staying away from this one until it settles down after earnings. Baidu, they think they got earnings coming up here. Um, we are in a new downtrend, so we need to wait some time on that one. Celgene, I uh, could have gotten in on that one. I stayed away because of earnings. Chipotle, uh, we have earnings coming up on after the market. A lot of the A-plusers are coming up this week. That should be interesting. I'm staying away from it. Costco. Notice how quickly the charts are coming up now. Uh, yeah, there's a trigger there. If you guys want to jump in on this one, uh, Costco looks good. You could do um, this Friday's expiration. Let's take a quick look. And you have one day. And we're looking at a 50 delta. We got a choice between 33 and 56. This kind of makes it rough. But I think uh, I think it's gonna it would be okay. So here we have a one dollar spread and a credit of forty four cents. So you know you're only going to have um, you're only going to be in this one day, and you still could get almost a one to one risk reward on this. So your reward's forty four. Your risk is. Uh, 56. So that's not a bad play. Okay, Chevron. It failed, or it looks like it's going to fail. We'll see. It's got earnings coming up. Igor. Uh, Still not sure what's going on with that. FedEx, we still have our February calendar on it. Looking for it for a uh, bear call. Gold. I'm waiting to figure out which direction, if we have a trend or reversal in gold, which direction it's going to actually end up going. Google. Of course, we know with that one, we just reviewed that one. Let's do uh, IWM. We took a look at that one because of the calendar. It looks like we might have a trend reversal going on that. LinkedIn, uh, still in a downtrend, waiting for a setup on it. MasterCard, we have earnings coming up, staying away from that. 3M. Earnings coming up, staying away from that. Netflix had their earnings. It looks like it's going to be hanging in there pretty pretty solidly with its uh I don't think this gap is gonna be filled anytime soon. And that's all you know, all gaps are filled eventually because nothing keeps going up forever, right? Or down forever. Um, we had a failure on Priceline. Russell, same as IWM. We got a reversal coming up. Uh, S&P 500, and we got a reversal coming up. And Tesla. This was a failure. 
where we had a double green and then this would have, well, if you would have gotten in, this is not a failure. This is a jump in signal, and then we're looking a little shaky with the MACD turning down, but we're still green on stochastic. So you would hang in on that one. You might be, depending on when you got in, you might be in the money on it, but you would want to still hang in there. And then last but not least is Visa. Uh, if you would have gotten in here, you would want to hang in there, but it's not looking good. Although aftermarket, yeah, aftermarket's doing quite well. So, um, that's it. Most of these, a majority of the trades that I took a pass on, if you were in them, they would have done just fine. Um... They would be, for the most part, okay. Some of them might be in trouble, but you just never know. You just hang in there, and that's the way the system is supposed to work. Um, being the guru, I can take liberties with the system, so I do. I should follow my own rules, though, more uh, strictly. Okay, so uh, that is it for right now. That's it for this week, and hopefully... I know it's going to be a lot warmer where I'm going. No, I'm not going to die and go to hell. I don't think so anyway. I, about the dying part, I'm not so sure about the hell part. Anyway, um, that's it. Have a great weekend, and happy trading.